My name is Ryan Davis. I'm a student at UBC and I work with biochar. For more than 2,500 years, biochar has been used to make soil more productive. And we now know that biochar can also keep greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere. So let's say a tree falls in the forest. It's gonna decompose, releasing lots of greenhouse gases, carbon being one of them. Biochar locks that carbon up and prevents it from becoming available in the atmosphere. So the idea being that you're able to sequester carbon, uh, CO2, which is a greenhouse gas for long periods of time. So there's your temperature. To think that I can work with the trees and the sun and I can get something that I can bury and it's sequestering carbon, mm -hmm. you know? Work it back, that's equivalent to so much carbon dioxide. Well, my tank of gas gives me the same amount of carbon dioxide, so I'm I've got a tank of gas here, right. you know? Right. Only I'm putting it the other direction. Right. <laughs> For a farm, biochar is beneficial not only because it stores carbon, but it also stores other nutrients and retains water. So you improve soil fertility and agricultural production. We put it into the soil in a field trial. We got an increase in yield. And then if we mixed compost with it, then we got even greater increase in yield. Biochar acts like a sponge, absorbing nutrients and water, different things that plants love and need uh, for growth. This is essentially a big oven for turning wood that you would find lying around into biochar. All Dave has here is a big barrel surrounded by cinder blocks and he's able to create biochar from just those few resources that he has. So there's a pipe that exits the drum and wraps around underneath with holes in it. The gases that come off the wood are circulated underneath, exit those holes, becomes ignited by the flame that's underneath, further driving the temperature up and continuing the process to make biochar. So ultimately, the biochar gets broken up and placed in the soil where it's able to absorb nutrients and hold on to water for the crops. There's a lot of carbon stored in this piece of material and it's stored in a way to where it can uh, last for hundreds to thousands of years. And if we can use what Dave has here at a larger scale, say like the city, limiting CO2 and greenhouse gases, this is a valuable resource in sequestering that gas.